the Angel Hug for Thursday, the 18th of April. And um, welcome everyone. This is, uh, yeah, very interesting doing things in this format. I'm just kind of, I keep going through it all and thinking, okay, um, I have no idea how it's working, but I'm just going to keep going with it and see what it feels like as the weeks go on. And I might go back to just being a pair of hands, I don't know. But um, you can let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you're experiencing more of a healing quality because that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that you're getting more of a sense of this light and lightness that we're always talking about because as I'm speaking, I always feel it coming through me. I always feel it being channeled through me. And I know that you can get that from a person's voice. I know it, that you probably can get it from just the vibration of the video and from the messages. But I'm just also curious to know whether connecting like this and having a sense of, you know, who we are, who they are, what, what's being said through me might add something. So I'm just experimenting. I don't know whether I'll stick with it. Anyway, this is the message for Thursday the 18th. <laughs> My guys are telling me to stop hiding. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, so the 18th of April. Perspective. Imagine your situation from a higher perspective. So that's lovely. Um, again, these are the uh, Diana Cooper unicorn cards, which I'm beginning to really be quite fond of. And um, right, so basically, whatever's happening today, Thursday, there is a higher way of looking at it. There is a higher way of viewing it. So let's just have a look at the picture on the card first of all. Down here, we've got two guys, literally almost locking horns, except we haven't got horns, but their heads are together in this argument that seems, you know. It, they're both, both going at it as if there isn't a solution, there's no way around it. And then up above the clouds, in the clouds, with the unicorns by their sides, they're shaking hands. So really what that's saying is that, okay, on this very human level, where we are still existing, a part of our consciousness is still functioning, there are issues, there are problems, there are challenges that we have to resolve on a daily basis. And there is always the higher self there is always another place in consciousness that we can go to or that we can regularly dip into where when we're in that place, <laughs> there is only one of us. I keep thinking about that namaste invocation. You know, when I am in that place in me and you are in that place in you, there's only one of us in that divine space. So up in this space, which is on the way to the divine space, they're shaking hands. And it's really a reminder that beyond that, there is no separation between any of us, even though we all enjoy the, the rough and tumble of the human experience. That's why we're here. We're here because we wanted to experience that. We wanted to experience forgetfulness and not knowing that, that this is who we are, this infinite thing, that this is who we are, this unified thing. We wanted to find our way back to this. We wanted to have an opportunity to do that, and that's what the current shift is about. And beyond even that, there is a place where there is only one so today is going to be a good day to take one particular situation in your life, my guys are saying, one thing, don't take on the whole thing and think everything needs to transform now because this is how we get ahead of ourselves and then we become frustrated when things don't change. By changing one small aspect of our lives, we can alter our entire lives. So take one relationship, for example, they're saying definitely relationship, because that's what we're all about, isn't it? That's what the quality of our lives is contingent on. It's dependent on the quality of our relationship. It doesn't matter what we think about what we have, what we don't have, how much money we make, how much we don't make yet, how frustrated we are, whether we're getting here or getting there or achieving this or achieving that. When it comes down to it, the quality of our relationship who are we loving? How are we loving? And to what extent are we able to love and to give and receive love? That is really what the quality of our life is based on. So take one relationship today and make a decision to see it from the highest perspective that you possibly can. And one way to do this is to ask yourself, what is this situation teaching me now? What is the opportunity here for me to learn? And also then, what is the opportunity here for me to teach? What can I learn? What can I teach? Because if we're all on a journey of learning, we're also all on a journey of teaching because everyone you come into contact with is also looking for learning. So where am I learning? Where am I teaching? And how can I see everything from that perspective rather than... Uh, 
<laughs> this person. Okay, so that's it for Thursday. I'll be back tomorrow, and I think that's enough. Just that one card is perfect for today. So have a great Thursday, everyone, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.